contribution to our natural history from the pen of Mr. Charles Darwin is certain to command attention. His latest publication, The Origin of Species, is manifestly regarded by him as the opus upon which his future fame is to rest. Mr. Darwin claims that every living thing, every fish, plant, fungus, <laughs> fly, <laughs> elephant, <laughs> man, <laughs> turnip, are all equally the lineal descendants of the same common ancestor. Such a notion is absolutely incompatible with the word of God. Yeah. Man was made in the image of God and redeemed by the eternal Son. Yeah. Natural selection is an ingenious theory for denying the working and therefore the existence of the Creator. In fact, the human brain differs markedly from that of all other mammals. Unfortunately, my Lord Bishop, you have been misinformed. <laughs> if we are unprejudiced judges, we have to admit that there is as little interval as animals between the gorilla and the man as there is between the gorilla and the baboon. It is, it is speech alone and not some spiritual gift that makes man a reasonable being. That is the source of our unlimited intellectual progress, but that does not disguise the fact that to the very root and foundation of his nature, man is one with the rest of the organic world. who has ever dissected the brain of an ape agrees with Professor Owen. His findings are wrong. I can only assume that Professor Owen's brain must have shrunk in the pickling jar. I meant, of course, the chimpanzee's brains he had examined. Oh, Lord. It was then that God delivered Wilberforce into my hands. I wonder, Mr. Huxley, is it through your grandfather or your grandmother that you claim descent from an ape? <laughs> I stood up, very quiet, very grave, and said my say with perfect good temper. If the question, if the question is put to me, would I rather have a miserable ape for a grandfather or a man, highly intelligent, possessed of great means of influence and yet who employed these faculties and that influence for the mere purpose of introducing ridicule into a grave scientific discussion? I unhesitatingly affirm my preference for the ape. You didn't. I said that, or something very like that. <laughs> How dare you attack a live bishop in public? Have you no respect for the purple waistcoat? Lady Brewster fainted, had to be carried from the room. And then Admiral Fitzroy got to his feet. Fitzroy? Oh, my.